Hey folks, Harry here. Welcome back to the Hardcore Survival Series. We're on episode 3. I'm so happy that you've enjoyed episode 1 and 2. And I am loving, loving playing this actually. It's been so fun, even though it's hardcore. But today, today I want to build a fort. Not a castle, a fort. And where are we building it? We're building it right here. But before we get that done, I I need a way up because it's it's very treacherous trying to get up here, especially with that single block wide bridge. And we've got a mining camp. And I did say I kind of wanted to have the watchtower have a way to signal the city. Hello. And this is perfect. We can see the camp for here. They can set a fire or one of the the Gondor things then set it over here and we can see it and then we can alert further in so yeah it's kind of a good idea and I did want to have a silk shop for the spider spawner but no it's a training area for the knights at the fort they can come down and train against spiders that's the kind of idea of it so one of the first things we are going to need to get is a whole load of resources. Stone and the site cobblestone and hopefully some gravel as well. The gravel more for pathways than anything. But I don't know whether to continue with the the coast dirt path up to the fort or change it to the kind of stone of the the, the the road of the city. I think more just keeping it in line with the, the dirt would be more beneficial. So gravel for that is going to be a must. Now I need to, yep, this is the level I need. I need to go through this. Hopefully light it up as much as possible so that it's not as dangerous. Ooh. Yeah, I need to light this all up. Get gravel. And get a mine. Okay, so I've got pretty much everything ready to go for building. I have a couple of things that still need to get done. Like I need cracked stone bricks. That's all smelting away. One of the other things that I'm needing is mossy cobblestone. Now finding mossy cobblestone in the world is damn near hard or impossible unless you go to a specific biomes. That's it and get lucky and find lots of it or you could craft a moss farm and create it yourself now the moss farm it needs quartz and if i want a really fast one with a, like an observer i'm going to need lots of quartz so it's time to go to the nether and also not only that i am actually going to need all of this iron to be smelted so We'll throw that in there first before we go anywhere. I need to... Bones, oh there you are. Bones, you can stay here today. We need to go and be safe in the nether. And I can't, I can't worry about you. I need a name for this little lady. We need a name for her. So names in the comments, please. And let's see. I should have... Oh, there's my shield there. I've been looking for you everywhere. Uh, I should have a flint and steel somewhere. What have I done with it? Or not. I just don't have a foot in steel. Do you know what? It'll be quite fun for you to come along with us. Uh, piece of iron. Ooh, a piece of candy. L let's, let's go traverse the nether and hopefully not die. All right, let's do this. Come on, Bones. All right, Bones, we are here. And this, this looks good. Oh, look at that. We got some quartz straight off the bat. Grab that. I forgot to put my pickaxe over. Really, is that all I got? Oh. Right, well, I don't need the cobblestone to protect the portal. There's some gold there. Baby. Aha. Let's get more of this. Right, let me try and find as much quartz as possible. Okay, we just have our, uh, we have our just a stack. So I think that'll be good enough for us just now. Right, in you go, Bones. Let's go. Let's grab these out. And... Oh, 
Oh, I forgot the quartz is so good for uh, XP. Alright, we just got a bit of stack. I don't actually know the amount I need right now, but that's probably more than enough. So let's throw all that in there. I need to go and gather the materials for this moss farm, which shouldn't be too bad. It's mostly just redstone components and um, hoppers and stuff like that, and pistons. So I need lots of iron. Um, There's a witch somewhere. Sounds like she's round the other side here. She's right at the door next to the cat. Like, because that's just not creepy. Well, let me get some redstone. Hi. Okay, so I've pretty much got everything for this moss farm ready to go. I am missing one crucial component, though. Actually, two. Two crucial components. One of them being a lava bucket, and the other being some slime. So I did find randomly, I've lost bones as well, by the way. I think he's went back in the nether. But I did randomly find a massively huge slime ball. Not slime ball. Slime. Down in one of the caves while I was mining. So I am going to go and look there and hopefully find it. Aha. This, this is, whoop. This is where I found it. In there, when it's all nice and dark. So, torches. And I think I've lit up here. So it is just a case of me getting in here. Oh, oh, okay, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse you. Where did that creeper come from? <laughs> Jeez. So that, that's the slime spawn bit, this whole bit here. So I need to run away and come back and hopefully at least one slime is there. Probably that's enough. Nothing. Right, wait a minute. So here's the one, two, three. Oh, diamonds. Cool. Uh, no, right. So this should be perfect amount of distance away for them to start spawning. And would you look at that? We have got a few. That's that's good. Right. I I forgot about that. Oh my. <laughs> Element animation slimes. I forgot about that. Oh, it just shows you the last time I actually seen a slime. Oh, but that's that's a good amount of slime. You're not a slime. But yeah, that was a good amount of slime. And I only need two slime balls, so that's fine. And then once we start finding the trials as well, we can set up like a slime farm through the spawner. Right, let's go get the last component ready for this moss farm. And then we're actually going to go to our industrial island that I am setting up. I am lost. Yeah, so we're going to go to the industrial island, which is a mushroom biome, mushroom island which will be safe for me in the AFK and Hardcore, but at the same time allow me to do quite a few farms on it. If you want to, if you want to know why I want to build these big industrial farms, leave a comment down below and I will answer the questions in the second channel with another video over there. This, this is it. It's, it's huge. It is a huge mushroom biome. But it's got a coral reef right next to it, which is going to be quite fun. And I think, yep, there is a underwater temple. 
So yeah, it's huge. We've got so much to work with. Our area is all the way over there, which has got a light matic thing sorted. But there is another mushroom by in there, which I'm going to use to build something on. But we hear it's night time. Nothing shall spawn, which is really good. And I am literally just going to get straight into this. I love it. It is working. I had a bit of a hiccup every now and again, but I have changed a few things. So my original design only had three hoppers. I've now got five in. All go well. Four are going into composters. One's going into chests. So basically, we're getting four composted stuffs to get bone meal. So it will never run out of bone meal. But we're also getting all this stuff here, which is just spares, which is getting caught or coming through the hopper system into all this stuff here now i have been running a few hours and yeah i think i think we've got enough that's almost carpet oh that's so good that's going to be so good for some things but look two stacks of a flower and azaleas a four three stacks of azaleas look at the amount of moss blocks we've got and like they've got all this stuff down here as well and then we've got these wheat seeds which to be honest, I would love to be able to filter out and send that back through the system. But that, that should be enough. Right, I can quickly turn this off. That will run for a wee, wee minute. And then I'm just going to grab as much moss as I can. Because I don't honestly think I need a lot of the stuff that's in my inventory right now. I could possibly put that in there. And we can grab a few more blocks. Uh, let's just grab for the bottom here. So that should be more than enough to get us started. Oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need, I need my boat. Oh, I burnt my boat. There was a reason for me burning my boat and I needed coal. And I'm an idiot and forgot that I actually needed the boat to get back home, didn't I, Bones? Anyway, it's becoming night time. I am going to quickly sleep here and then we will head back and I think getting the, the first build done, because I've got four parts of this build to do. So there's a lot of stuff. And I honestly, I honestly think I might need to. Yeah, I'm going to need to. I'm going to need to sort my pickaxe before I do anything else. Anyway, <laughs> let's get home. Right, we're back home. That was quite a nice journey. That done one, one barrel of mossy cobblestone. I don't think it's enough. So... Fingers crossed I can get at least one part done before I need to go and get a whole load of other stuff. Cause yeah, that's that was that was annoying. Anyway, well let's get building.
it's done and oh my gosh i absolutely love it i mean just look at this thing it's just so huge compared to me standing here it is huge and i absolutely love it but we're not finished because i wanted to get a castle or a fort sorry a fort built in my world and i want it built up here up here where we can see our mining camp our home and our bridge and honestly it's as it's a lot smaller of a build than this because i only need what these four barrels oh no yeah well roughly four barrels worth of stuff to get this built but there's a lot of stuff here that needs to get cleared out and i don't actually think water works on these oh no it does but not all of them no that's weird but anyway i need to get this whole place cleared of trees and blossom petals on the floor and clear up a bit of the grass as well so let's get started So it's pretty much cleared out. We have the area. This is kind of outline for the dirt or the core start that I'm going to put in. But I do have this bit here that I want to take part, take part, take a part more, pull it further away from this build and smooth it out. But there is quite a lot on it and I don't think I'll get to it in this episode. But... We're pretty much ready here. I want to go and get the core start to place down here. I don't know if I have enough. Hopefully I do. But I should have enough dirt to make it up. But let me go grab that. And the dirt's in. Eh, got some pack mud in as well. I thought I would add that in. Just a wee bit extra. But if I zoom out here. You can kind of see the size of this place. Another big one. But to be honest I think it's going to be nice once it's in. So let's get that going.
it's, it's done. It's complete. It's not the best, but I like it. It's it's nice. Like I need to come out of that. There we go. So yes, like I said earlier, this bit here needs to go all the way back. We need to level all of this out, and then we need to get a path from here, travel it all the way down to here. But I don't know if I will make it go down there. Or come down this way and sort of round it round the mountain and join up there because then I could also branch off and come all the way down this way making a path that will come all the way around to here which could be our port jetty sort of area with ships and things and like that but yeah it's all done I I did take some inspiration from websites and images and things like that because I am learning I do not know all the fundamentals of building and it really annoys me but if you do recognize any of them then you probably know where to go and get them but yeah I, I like it so it needs interiors done completely if um, MD wants to give me some tips on interiors I would happily take them we have a pet pig, which I need a name tag for. I want to call that Percy. Well, Percy the pig. And yeah, let's take a look at something. Oh, there's a bed there. I've been looking for you. Yeah, let's take a wee look around here. So we have this bit here, which will connect to this, which I need to get a spruce trap door for. And we can travel through here on top of the stables. Yeah, we have stables here, which we need horses for. And then we can walk around here. We've got these turrets at the ends, which we can climb all the way up to and stand on here and see out and about. You can see the warning signal sort of thing over there. Nice wee areas to work with. We have a practice area for sword swinging. We've got an archery area for practicing your archery. We need to get a barrel here for some arrows and things like that. Uh, we have a small cart that will allow us to go and get some resources from the city. We have a well. We've got this, which is connected, kind of, to the the stables. But this is the stable master's house. We're going to have to have a level up here for food and that for the horses, because we've got a wheat crane for wheat. Stables, this is, um, this would be, what do you call it? The captain's quarters so you have like the area down below which is for meetings and then this one is the captain's sleeping area and then this here this is the the guard post area sort of thing and then once i've got all the steps and all that and proper we can go all the way up and from here we should be able to look out against the the world and see what's happening from all directions when we're up here but yeah it's it's quite cool and we do have the secret tunnel which brings us out to the spider spawner right here and this is going to be my way in and out of the spider spawner they can come here fight get their levels up and then up this way takes us to the bridge we have an inside of the bridge which has ladders that allow us to come all the way up to here and look out in different directions and defend the kingdom that we do not have a name for yet i do need a name for that i want a lot a lot of lore for this kingdom so if you have any ideas on what to do then please put them down in the comments below join the discord i think i'll have a lore place set up for this video going out yeah this this is done this is we're done and this is awesome but this takes us all the way to the last set of turrets on the bridge and then we have a dead end which literally takes us into grass and down here so yeah so we have a massive bridge we have a fort all part of the kingdom to protect it make sure the kingdom's safe from any invaders and then we have got a lot of work to do